If I could end with one last story, a question that may or may not be on your lips, but I'm often asked, so I'll ask for you. What was my role in Memorial Day? I must give most credit to my wife. For after the war, my wife toured the South, and she saw former slaves, Negroes, decorating the graves of Union soldiers with wildflowers they'd collected from the fields, paying homage to the men who had given their lives for freedom. When my wife came back to Washington, she said, John, you should do something about this. I had just been elected the president of the Grand Army of the Republic, the Civil War veterans, and with that clout, I issued Order 11 that every surviving veteran, lucky enough to return home, had a duty to decorate the graves of those who were not so lucky. There are 20 towns that claim to be the first to celebrate what's now called Memorial Day. But I was at Woodlawn Cemetery in Carbondale when I read Order 11. And then I returned to the Senate and I made it a federal holiday. And I must ask the children who are present, how many of you enjoy having an extra Monday off from school? You're welcome. But I will say, this next Memorial Day, coming up soon, please, will you do me a favor? Gather a few flowers and decorate the graves of our fallen heroes. Those men who paid the ultimate price for the freedoms that many take for granted. Thank you.